Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I'm super excited. I have a review of a dust collector for you guys. I was so thrilled that Melody Susie reached out to me to review their dust collector. I feel like this is one of the most well-known and most used dust collectors. I feel like I've seen any, you know, nail YouTuber use. And so I'm super excited to have it and give it a try. The box is actually pretty big. Let me see if I can zoom all the way out for you guys. So yeah, this is actually how big the box is. Let me turn it sideways. And so yeah, it comes very, very nicely packaged. So on the back here, it gives gives um, the model number, the input, the, the max power is 24 watts. Then it has all of Melody Susie's um, contact information on there. And then on the side here, it has their logo. And yeah, it's really nice and sleek packaging. Melody Susie always has a really nice, cute packaging. So let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, okay, this is really nice. So you guys, I've been eyeing this dust collector forever now, and so I'm really excited to have it and to be giving it a try. So here is the instruction manual. You wanna go through and make sure you take the time to read it just to make sure you're keeping up with proper care for the dust collector. Um, but here it just shows um, you know, all the components of it. So let's go ahead and pull out the start of the show. Oh, it's really, okay, it's very lightweight. Wow, you guys. So this is it. This is how it looks. Um, I like that this like kind of looks like a fan. That's really cute. And it has the Melody Susie logo right here. This is what the top looks like. The side, the bottom. So this right here is the power button. Let me turn it this way. So this right here is the power button and then the fan. I'm guessing this is high and low. And then that's what the other side looks like here on the back. It shows, again, all the wattages and product specifications. And then let's see here. I think this is how, okay, yeah. So this is how you change the filter if you need to. You just pop this part off. And then this is the actual filter itself. So that's pretty cool. And um, Oh, okay, wow. Okay, so that's the fan right here. That's pretty dope. Um, so yeah, we're going to put the filter right back on. And then put this part back on. Oh, is it magnetic? That's cool, it's magnetic. Okay, it snaps on with magnets. These magnets right here is what snaps it back into place. That's pretty nice. And then outside of that, it comes with obviously the power cord. So this is how you plug it in. All right, so this is everything. I really love this box too. Y'all know me, I'm gonna repurpose it for something else. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get her plugged in and then we'll do a test to see how loud it is. The plug for the um, dust collector is on this side, so I'm going to go ahead and get it plugged in. Okay. Alright, so once I plug it in, this little light kind of illuminates a little bit. I'm not sure if you all can see it or not, but that shows that that's the power button, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Okay. Okay. That's pretty high power there. I'm assuming that's on high. It's a little loud. I think this is louder than my old dust collector. Let's see. And this is it on low. I think on low, this is what my old dust collector sounds like. Yes. But I like it though because that lets me know that the suction is going to be really good, you guys. And then... Again, so this is the high, this is it on high. You press that button, that's it on low. And this light indicates which one it's on, and so when you're ready to turn it off, that's what it sounds like. This is really nice. I like the size of it, and I also like how like that it's like touch buttons, you know? So you just tap it, and it turns it on. And when you turn it on, it starts off on whatever the last one you had it on. So because it was on low last time when I turned it off, it starts back up on low. And this is it on high. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and give it a try. So I do have my drill here. Alright, that's kind of loud. I'm not sure if you guys can still hear me or not. But I do have my drill here. I'm actually going to go ahead and switch my bit out to um, my 5-in-1 carbide bit. This is one of my This uh, 5 in 1 carbide bit is one of my favorite drill bits. So I'm going to go ahead and 
uh, turn it on. And then I have like an old swash stick here that just has a little bit of acrylic on it. So I'm gonna see um, how well it is suctioning the dust as I'm filing this. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Okay, then I'm gonna turn my dust collector on. I'm gonna get the file on you guys. So that's the high speed. All right, that's the high speed. I think it did a really great job of picking up the dust. Just a little bit of the dust got down here, but um, my desk is completely dust free outside of what's actually on the dust collector itself. And typically what I'll do with that is I'll just go ahead and sweep the remaining dust that got anywhere and just put it right on in the middle there. So let's open this up and see how much it picked up. Yeah, it caught everything. Y'all can't really see it though, because I didn't, I guess I didn't kick up too much, but you all can see that the dust, it all collected right on up in here. So yeah, and if you want to clean the filter, the one thing I do is I always just kind of dump it on my trash can. And then it's good as new, you guys. So yeah, this is really nice. And then I'm curious about the suction on the low speed too, so I'm going to turn it on on low. Y'all was falling so hard, I filed the sander band off. Okay, so that's maybe my cue to go ahead and stop. But yeah, you all see that the dust, it all collects right on up in here. And then whatever got on my hand, again, I'll just dust that right on off into the dust collector itself. But yeah, my desk area itself, it is dust free, which is nice and refreshing. So let me take this off again. So I do got a few pieces that got stuck up in here, but again, that's those are chunkier pieces but it caught everything, you guys, and that's the key, yeah. Again, you can't really see it because I didn't kick up too much dust, but yeah, I think this is a great dust collector. So yeah, my overall thoughts on this Melody Susie dust collector is that it's really nice. I do like the fact that it has a little bit of a wider area to collect the dust. It allows for the ability to suction more dust. It's pretty simple and straightforward. You just turn it on and you pick the speed you want and you, you get the filing. I like that it has these uh, light indicators here. And then again, I love the touch I love the touch button functionality of it. So yeah, this is a really, really nice dust collector. If you all are in the market for one, I would recommend it. I've seen a lot of people use this dust collector and have really good use for it with long term. So to me, it seems like it would have good longevity. It's nice. Um, it's not heavy. It's, it's nice and light, but it's still powerful. I do also have a discount code with Melody Susie. Um, it's Rose 12. And so if you all are interested in getting it uh, from their website, you can save 12% off. It's also available on Amazon. So I will leave both of those links down in the description box below. I hope y'all enjoyed this review. Let me know if y'all have this Melody Susie dust collector and what you think of it. I'm a big fan of it, so I'm excited to get a lot more use out of it, especially when I do my acrylic nails and my hard gel nails, builder gel nails, etc. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, 
leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!